Today we'll be doing a physics experiment regarding the refraction of light in water and air. First thing you'll need is a tin pan, a penny, and a glass of water. The first thing you're going to do is put the penny in the tin pan like so. As I move up closer, you can barely see the penny. Now as I move far away, it disappears. And now what the light is going to do as I pour the water into the tin pan, it's going to refract and the image of the penny will be shown through apparent depth in the pan. Now without even moving, there's the penny. Now, apparent depth is regarding two different things. It regards the height and the reflection of the refraction angle of the image. And pretty soon, I will show you an equation about how to do so in solving our problem regarding apparent depth. So this is the part where we solve a problem using the apparent depth equation. The apparent depth equation is n 1 times sine of theta is equal to n2 times the sine of theta. Okay, now the n stands for the index of refraction. And you don't really have to know the individual indexes of refraction. But um, for just for reference and like all purpose, air, the air's index of refraction is equal to 1.00. And you can look up the other ones such as like water and crown glass and quartz just as easily as you could water. Okay, so to start off the problem, we'll have a man looking down into water. So there's the man's eye, okay, there's his eye, and he's looking down into water, so we'll draw that. Okay, that's enough water. And then he's, that'll be about 30 degrees. They'll tell you all this in the problem. And then, so the first thing you're going to do is draw the normal, which, um, the normal is just a line, just for reference, to make with the angle. So I drew it over here to make it more clear but you can easily draw it here so you can see that this is a 30 degree angle right there. Okay so the first thing you're gonna do because we all know that this is air this is gonna be water the index of refraction over here is 1.00 and if we look it up in the book over here the index of refraction for water water is 1.33 okay so plug those numbers into the equation it's that simple okay so you have to take the corresponding angles and the corresponding indexes of refraction so what you're gonna do so n1 that'll be air so 1.00 times the sine of 30 degrees Okay, and then that is going to be equal to water, which is 1.33, and then times sine of theta. You don't know theta, because we're going to be solving for the angle of refraction that's formed. So the first step you're going to do is find the sine of 30 degrees, which is 0.5. So 0.5. 1 times 0.5 is going to be 0.5. So next step you're going to do is divide... 0.5 by 1.33 to solve for the sine of theta. So, okay, well now we'll go over here because we're running out of room over there. It's 0.3759. And that's going to be equal to the sine of theta. So now what you're going to do is go on your calculator and press the second button and press the sine and press enter. Well, you actually don't really have to press enter on my calculator. That comes about to be 
0.08 is equal to theta. That's going to be in degrees. So let's round it to three significant figures. So that'll be 22.1 degrees is equal to theta. That'll be your refraction angle. And that's how you solve for apparent depth.